Well, leave it to the Greenville County Library to make sure you have a lot to do in the winter months. Say hello to Miss Rachel. She is the um, adult outreach and event coordinator, and she sure stays busy, especially this time of year. We are close, about a month away or so from the Southern Expo. Rachel, remind people what that's all about. Yes. So the Southern Author Expo is this great opportunity to hear from some local authors from the region. We're going to talk to you about their writing process, their new books, basically anything you can think of, because there is an interactive Q&A at the end. So this year it's a virtual event um, and you'll hear from everyone at the beginning and then at the end you'll be able to have that Q&A time to really get to talk to the authors one on one. See, I think that's so neat because one, people just like to hear from the person that they just read their book from. It's like, what were you thinking when you wrote this or, you know, did that? And then two, they maybe will just kind of give you some pointers and tidbits on how to get started if you're thinking of publishing. That's right. That's right. So if you're an avid reader or you're interested in writing, it's a great event for you. And if you want to know what the local authors are all about and read some samples of the work, you can do that on our website, greenvillelibrary.org slash Southern Author Expo. So it's a great way to get a sneak peek of all the author's work. So y'all just mark this on your calendar. That's happening on January 22nd. So, you know, after the Christmas, when things are kind of blah, this will give us something fun to do. That's right. When it's cold outside, stay in and then talk to some authors. It'll be a great time. <laughs> Give me a little cup of coffee, a good blanket. I'm down. That's right. <laughs> down. Well, let's talk about the 2022 featured writers. What is that about? So the featured writers, these are the ones who actually are going to be speaking at the Southern Author Southern Expo. Author. So they span a variety of genres. So if you like poetry, fantasy, young adult, even children's picture books, we've got those featured authors who are going to talk about all different kinds of styles. That is great. And if you you need maybe a little incentive to do a little winter reading. There's a winter reading challenge with some really cool prizes. Tell me about that. That's right. Our winter reading challenge is a fantastic challenge for adults. So that starts January 15 through March 15. It's perfect. Again, it's the cold weather. So that's when you're going to want to be inside reading anyway. But all you have to do is fill out some activities on a bingo card that's inside this great activity booklet. You can pick it up from a library location starting January 15 or download it from our website. And once you fill um, five across or up and down, diagonal, uh, then you're entered into a prize, grand prize drawing. Just for completing, you also will get a wonderful pastry voucher from Swamp Rabbit Cafe and Grocery. Mm. We love them a limited edition tote bag as well that we've designed. And then the grand prizes are fantastic. So it's tickets to the Swamp Rabbit Hockey's game or tickets to Starry Nights at Rover Mountain Science Center or some really cool plus plus packages so you can actually build space themed items because our theme is winter night sky this year. See, look how it all goes. And this is like the best time of year, my favorite time of year. I feel like when I get a lot of reading done because, you know, it does get so much darker earlier and it's, you know, kind of cold outside. Sometimes you're like, well, you know, I'm just going to snuggle in with a book and hope the kids will give me 30 minutes to read. <laughs> right. That's the trick. Uh, yeah. But th there's also some great tips about stargazing as well. So if you want to read for a while and then also go outside and look at the stars, I think it's a great opportunity to do that too. That's so fun. I just love it because you keep the tradition going where the Greenville library system is more than just coming in and getting amazing books. You do these programs that will really just make such a difference in the community. We appreciate it, Rachel. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. All right, guys, go to their website too. That way, I know we talked about a lot of dates and a, a lot of prizes and stuff. Their website lays it out beautifully. It's easy to understand. So follow that, start reading and enjoy. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>